What is up everybody, Bootman here, and we're back with another Marvel Snap video. And in this video, I wanted to give you six tips to reach infinite fast by the end of the season. At the time of recording this, it is January 24th, which means we have seven days for you to hit infinite before the new Ant-Man Quantumania new season, so you can get that sweet new card back from this Zabu season, all right? So these tips will help you hit infinite within the next seven days, all right? But before we get started, if you're new here, hi, my name is Chris. I also go by Bootman. And if you love Marvel Snap as much as I do, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. One of my main goals here is to help all of you get better at Marvel Snap, reach infinite when competitive starts and all that. We're gonna have a whole ton of fun. So make sure you're subscribed. We're trying to hit 7,000 by the end of the month. We're only 100 subscribers away. You could be one of those people that helps me reach that goal. All right. And, and make sure you join our Discord uh, server down in the description below. It's linked down there. Um, for example, like this video right here, it was inspired by uh, someone on Discord. I just went in Discord. I was like, hey, what type of videos do you want to see? Someone brought this up and I was like, oh, wait, I already had a video planned out. But anyways, Come on Discord, I, I chat with you all, I get video ideas, because I wanna make sure I'm making stuff that you all want to see, all right? So join our Discord uh, server after you hit that subscribe button, and follow me over on Twitter, uh, at BootmanMSTZ. I'm doing monthly giveaways of the season pass, so if you want the new season pass and the new, uh, cool season pass card Modoc, which I have some opinions about actually that I'll make another video on. But anyways, anyways, I do monthly giveaways, but you gotta follow me on Twitter, link down in the description below. All right, cool. So let's get started. Uh, when I do videos like this, I never know what to have on the screen. So I'm just gonna play. I'm gonna play with Majantris. I haven't been playing Majantris uh, recently. Uh, I've had some questions about it. So I'm just gonna play and we'll talk with these tips. But anyways, real quick, the reason I haven't been playing Majantris Majantris, just something I realized, it did not perform well against Surfer decks. Even though I used this deck to hit infinite for my second season in a row against Surfer decks, it struggled, all right? It struggled quite a bit. There's just not a lot to stop Surfer and all that, all right? But anyways, I have plenty of videos on Majantris. They're linked down in the description with replacement cards and all sorts of stuff. All right, so let's hop into some games. Let's chat. Let's chat some tips, all right? So first tip, and if you know me, all right, you know I'm about to hit you with that tough love. If you're new, I'm gonna hit you with the tough love, okay? So the first one is to stop making excuses, okay? This is gonna help you hit infinite fast. I just made a recent video about the psychology of luck, but a lot of this game is mindset, okay? Get, getting to infinite, it's not even like about good, bad players, all right? It is like a psychological game, getting to infinite is stressful, okay? And by the way, I'm not gonna talk too much through my game plan, I'm just gonna kinda go on autopilot. But it's a psychological game, it is difficult. If you ask anybody who who's hit infinite, like it's tough, man. Like when you're trying to hit there, when you get 90, rank 98, 99, and you drop down to like 80 something, like it messes with your head, right? And you gotta start asking yourself, okay, is it RNG, is it me, what is it, okay? So. We need to know um, that we, we we can't be making excuses like, oh, I don't have this card, I don't have that card, all right? So many people, especially with this deck, Majantris, I get so many like people tweeting at me or messaging me on Discord and tagging me They're like, hey, Chris, you know, I, uh, I uh, changed uh, this one thing in the deck and, uh, you know, I still hit infinite, you know, whatever it is, right? And I love that, I love that, you know? Like you don't need certain cards. Like um, it's weird because Oh, that was interesting. <laughs> this, this guy just filled his lane. That's super interesting. Like, did you guys see that? I gotta pause and say, Oscorp Tower, he just sent both these over. They're coming back over to his side. Like, <laughs> that's a bold move. <laughs> I've never seen that. Um, so yeah, get your mindset right, please, okay? Um, just, just no, no more excuses. I, I've had people argue with me until the cows come home about all this kind of stuff saying like, oh, well, it's easy to say when you have series four and series five, it's easy for you to say and da, 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 da. And, uh, this is going to lead into an, another one of our tips, but it's not, it's not a justifiable excuse. Okay. You have to ask yourself two questions. One, are series four and series five decks undefeated? Are they just completely unbeatable? Cause if not then uh, then you need to challenge that that thought, right? And the second one is, has anybody reached infinite without those decks? If the answer is yes, then you need to get that thought out of your head, okay? So the next tip, tip number two, 
Know that it's possible. Right now, like I said, it's the 24th. Can you hit infinite in a week? I've been talking with my son about this. He's about to hit rank 70 for his uh, first time, I believe, for his first time he's going to hit rank 70. And he's talking to me. He's like, oh, yeah, you know, I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Um, not sure if it's possible. Da, 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 da. And uh, I'm like, of course it's possible. He's sitting at like rank 68, 67, uh, some, somewhere around there. Um, each season, I've hit infinite uh, within a week. Within a week, I've hit infinite. The first time, I was at rank 45. So I went up 55 levels, okay, within a week. Uh, the last time, I, I dropped down to rank 70. Well, the last two times, I've dropped down to rank 70, and I've done it. So if I can do it, you can do it. All right. Like know that it's possible. Something that, you know, that I, I have to tell myself too is, oh wait, no, we're going to take out the typhoid Mary. Like I always have to tell myself, like if someone's been able to do it, then I should be able to do it. Like there's no reason I shouldn't be able to do this. Right. So just know that it's possible. This is, again, it has something to do with your mindset. All right. Get it in your head. Know that you can do this. Yeah, it's, it's difficult. Yeah, it takes discipline. Yeah, it takes a lot, a lot of playing, right? But just know if you want to, you can do it, okay? Did we win this one? I think we won this one. But Jantress, baby. And that's gonna lead, that's gonna lead us right into tip number three, okay? Look at that, you see that victory right there? Tip number three, use proven decks, okay? Let me repeat that use proven decks. So what do I mean by a proven deck, okay? Decks that have hit infinite. If your goal is to hit infinite, do the things and use the decks that people hitting infinite are doing. That was the number one thing. A couple of weeks ago, I made a video um, with some subscribers. Subscribers submitted their gameplay. And one of the main things I noticed from them was uh, they weren't using infinite decks. Like they were just using your typical like destroy decks. Um, one of them I believe was like a lockjaw, jubilee, kind of like casino style deck or whatever. Like you guys, you use decks that people have used to get to infinite. You know what I mean? Like that is, uh, that's something I learned a long, long time ago, just in life in general. Find somebody who has what you want and then do what they did, you know? Oh man, I could have dropped my... If I knew that was there, you know, could have dropped that. Um, so we better. Oh well, we got magic, so we can, we can do, we can do some fun stuff. Watch this. You really want to, you really want to mess with them? I don't know. That might show my hand too quick, huh? If I drop bishop over there, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, if if somebody has what you want, do what they did to get there. Like find decks that have hit infinite. Um, someone else suggested in Discord, I believe it might have even been the same person. But I've done video Oh, two bishops. Nice. Uh I've done videos on decks that have hit infinite. You know what I mean? And uh, do I want to do this? What kind of deck are they running? Yeah, we're good. We're Gucci. Um I've done videos on decks that have hit infinite. Like, look at those, watch those, see what other people are using. You know what I mean? Uh, and do that. Like, um, there are just so, so many. Uh, don't, you know, like, here's the thing. Like, there's, there's, they're playing Marvel Stop for fun, which I hope everybody's having fun, you know? Even though I'm competitive, I have fun. But then there's playing Marvel Snap with a purpose, being competitive, you know, whatever it is. Like, if your goal is to hit infinite, then stop playing the decks that you think are the most fun. Like, like trust me. I get it. Lockjaw decks, uh, um, like Jubilee decks, certain decks are just really, really fun to play. You know what I mean? But are they going to get you where you want to go? You know what I'm saying? So keep that in mind. Find decks that have hit infinite, okay? Ugh. God, this is, a, this is a tough one. We might have to forfeit this one. Most I could do, I could beef these guys up maybe just a little, but they're both gonna go over here. Let's see. Oh! Sorry, Magneto. Okay, you will just hurt me, so we'll do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Um, see if that buffs up our bishops enough. Yeah, we might end up winning over here, right? 
Let's see. Let's see how this works. I'm not doing like the full on math thing right now. But they're going to be ahead by seven here. Higher, further, faster, baby. Oh. Nice. Majantra's baby. See? Proven deck to hit you and get you to infinite. Okay. So, um, bu 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 bu. next tip. Tip number four. Okay. Learn your decks. Learn the decks, the ones that you find. So now you found decks that hit infinite, okay? Learn them, learn them inside and out. And this could take hundreds of games, dozens of games, hundreds of games. So one of the problems is like when I hear that, like one of my issues is, it's like, well, how do you know if it's a good deck to hit infinite, right? How do you know if you're just supposed to scrap this deck? Because some decks like you don't want to waste your time, right? Like right now we're talking seven days until uh, the end of the season, right? So you don't want to waste your time with it. So I think like just you watching videos, uh, finding decks that have hit infinite, doing research on Twitter, Marvel Snap Zone, Snap.Fan, whatever it is, when you find those, now you can stick with that deck. Okay, so I know this deck hit infinite. Okay, I'm gonna stick with it, but play it. Get those reps in, baby. Play it over and over and over and over and over again. See how it matches up against different decks. See what you gotta do. See how you gotta switch up your play style, right? Like with Majantris, I played this deck so many times. It's one of the reasons why I'm just talking to you, playing it. A lot of it is just automated with um, what I'm doing. All right, so keep playing those decks, stick with them, all right? Uh, and once you get those reps in, you'll see a lot more consistency with how you, how you play because uh, when you learn your deck inside out too, it's going to, ooh, I don't like that. I was just about to drop Mysterio. Let's do this. If that goes to negative two, I can crossbones over there. Um, oh man, if you hit crossbones, woo hoo hoo. Uh, but you can start snapping and retreating confidently. Okay, super duper important. All right, so tip number five. Get inspiration by doing research. Like you guys, like can I, I, I can't emphasize how much research I do. I am subscribed to probably all of the main Marvel Snap channels. Uh, I try to find small little niche channels as well because what ends up happening too is, is that a lot of the big channels, they see, you know, we all look at each other, right? And I'm not even close to one of the big channels, right? Um, but we look at each other, oh, what's working for them? Okay, should I make a video on this? Blah, 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 blah. All that kind of stuff. So I try to look for smaller channels too, but I'm going on Twitter. I'm going on snap.fan. I'm going um, I'm going to Marvel Snap Zone. I'm going everywhere to get ideas and then get inspiration. You see what I'm saying? So keep that in mind as you Ooh, ooh, this might this might actually work. If I do this, stack this, and then because they're probably running a surfer deck. Right? Like get inspiration. Look, look at different cards. Look at how they play. Like that is one of the best parts about this game. Like it's it's fun because you get to be creative, you know? Uh when I start looking around, I just get ideas. I'm like, oh, what if I switch this card with this card? Like there's some decks that I see that I find where someone like hit infinite, right? And then I'm like, well, I think that I could um oh, that sucks. Yeah, so if you went there, you would have lost. Yeah, okay. Uh, but yeah, it just gives me inspiration to switch cards around and do stuff like that. Or it'll just spark an idea in your head. Like, so I've been a creative, like, most of my life. I've been a writer. Uh, I create YouTube content, right? I've done a podcast. I, anything creative, I've done it, okay? And when I, and like, a lot of other creatives come to me and they're like, oh man, I just have like this mental block, right? Or like writer's block or YouTube block, whatever it is. And I talk about how, like, I just go look for inspiration. I watch videos, I read books, I, I look at websites, so many other things. That will help you craft different decks, right? Um, it'll give you ideas. So find those decks that are proven that hit infinite, maybe switch a couple things, but like the core base cards will be there, okay? Last thing, last thing, we're gonna, we're gonna come full circle, we'll play this last game. The very last tip, tip number six, the most important one, don't be dumb, all right? Do not be dumb with how you play, okay? Uh, I will say, I will, I will die on this hill, all right? There are far too many people just defending terrible 
snapping decisions. It's never going to go away. I think that is what just will plague this game until the end of time. People in the comments, people on Twitter defending just bad snapping behaviors. Like you guys, you guys, let me tell you, okay? There's certain decks that you don't first turn snap with. I'm going to make, I'm eventually going to make a video about this. All right, feel free to remind me. I'm gonna make a video about decks that you never first turn snap with, okay? Here's one, a move deck, okay? Here's another one, a zoo deck. Like, you're gonna first turn snap a zoo deck with no cards on the board, right? What happens when the person reveals that they're playing a destroy deck? Do you still feel that level of confidence? And what in a zoo deck makes you feel confident? Oh, I got Kazar. Oh, I'm going to boost everybody up by two? What? What is it? What? You got Mystique? You're going to boost everybody up by four, right? Are they Are they playing Enchantress, right? Are they playing uh, uh, Killmonger? Whatever it is. So anyways, anyways, stop being dumb with this stuff. Like, please, like, please just take a pause. I've made plenty of videos on that. The issue is that a lot of those videos, uh, ooh, ooh, very well, Geo, a little Ghost Rider. Um, but, but yeah, like you, when you start playing these other decks, you can start getting a bit more confident, right? Like I just, um, oh, but I, I was saying those videos don't perform as well when I get into like the psychology, the mindset and stuff like that. This video might not perform well. Like what I've noticed is a lot of people want videos like that are about like a specific card, right? Or a specific series, you know? The reality is a lot of you just aren't hitting infinite just because of the strategy behind it, the the thought process and all that. Like, it's not the cards, it's not the decks. It's your play style, it's how you're thinking about the game. So you need to get better at not snapping, right? Taking your two cubes, you know what I mean? Like how many, like ask yourself this right now. How many games have you lost just uh, snapping turn five? Not lost, but just you lost out on a cube. You snap turn five. It's something that I've been trying to break the habit of for a long time as well. Like, give me, give me Shang Chi, please, please. Just Shang, just come out real quick. All right, I'll take you. I'll take you. Um, but yeah, like that's a bad decision. Don't snap turn five, right? Just take your two cues. When someone taps, uh, uh, snaps me turn five, like I'm outie. Man, they have way too many high power cards for Shang Chi to even make a difference. Uh, speaking of cube management, I'm just gonna play this through so so me and you can talk. Um, analyze your gameplay if you need to. Like record it, look back on it. Say like, oh well, if Shang Chi does manage to show up. I can double right here. Hmm. I do this. I do that. And then I do, I'm going to try to Shang-Chi there if he comes out. If he doesn't come out, we lost. Um, but yeah, go back and watch. Ask yourself, like, oh, man, we definitely lost. Holy moly. Oh, my word. We'll retreat when I give this person two cubes. I'm surprised they haven't snapped. Like, if I had, like, Shang-Chi and a freaking absorbing man, you know? But just go and analyze your play. Ask yourself, was that a smart move? Right? If you're first turn snapping, say why. Why did I first turn snap? You know? Ask yourself, ask yourself, what was in my hand? Record yourself, get OBS, perfect, uh, completely free software. There's a million other, like go to Google, it's real easy, free video uh, screen capture software, right? Whatever it is, record your gameplay. See what happens. If you're on a losing streak, go back, rewatch it. Like um, my background is in Counter-Strike, uh, coaching teams and everything like you guys I spent hours hours upon hours like is one of the reasons I got to that level was I was just watching replays these demos over and over and over and over um, of my own gameplay then I became a coach it was of the team's gameplay okay like these are things that will make you smarter but like I said we're dealing with this thing where people are making a lot of excuses like listen like you're not just not hitting infinite for no reason, okay? You gotta go back, look, see what's going on. I honestly wish I had the time to go and review all of your gameplay. Like the few people I did, they're like, oh, thanks. Like, yeah, good point. Not sure why I'm using that deck, right? Become your own coach. 
Look into it. See what smart players are doing. Listen to Marvel Snap podcasts. Watch uh, good competitive players, okay? There are a few different types of YouTubers. Some are purely entertainment. They're gonna tell you this is the best deck, but best actually just means fun, all right? Watch the people who are competitive, hitting the high ranks, like people off the top of my head, KM Best, Jeff Hoagland, the Code Deco guys over on Twitch. Those fools are like rank 420 now. Go watch them, see how they think, see how they play, right? Ask yourself, am I mimicking that? Am I doing that or am I just playing a fun deck? Am I in a rush to get cubes? Am I not thinking this thing through, you know? Go watch people. If you're a first turn snapper, Go watch people, see how often, see how often infinite players first turn snap. If they are first turn snapping, what kind of deck did they have? What kind of combinations did they have in their starting hand? You know what I mean? Because don't get me wrong, there are definitely decks where you can confidently first turn snap. I just proved it with a Patriot deck, okay? But the issue I found is a lot of people are first turn snapping with terrible hands and terrible decks, all right? That's the issue. It's not just first turn snapping, it's people snapping with bad hands and bad decks, okay? So you gotta get smarter at this game. I gave you a ton of ways, ton of resources to do this. Find people who are better than you, learn from them, analyze them. And if there's any questions, leave them down in the comments below. Like, um, I got a bunch of great suggestions in Discord. Like people wanted me to like walk through different like plays and strategies, uh, different cards, when they're strong, when they're weak, what decks they match up against. So many good ones, but let me know down in the comments below, like what, videos would you watch? What do you want to see? If there's anything that you would like more clarification on in this, leave them in the comments because I'm trying to figure out videos to make for all of you, okay? So let me know down in the comments. But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, subscribe, ring that notification bell. We're trying to hit 7,000 by the end of the month. Super duper close. We're at like 100 away, okay? Join our Discord uh, community. Bunch of cool people in there. And I ask you questions about, you know, videos, interact, all sorts of fun stuff. And follow me on Twitter at BootmanMSTZ if you want to be part of our monthly season pass giveaway, all right? I hope, hope I wasn't too tough on you in this video, but I believe in you. I think you survived it. And hopefully this helped, okay? But yeah, um, I'm going to try to squeeze in uh, one more video that's like a deck review uh, today. So until then, have an amazing rest of your day. And I'll see you in the next one.